All right, for anyone who missed it, there was a lot of smack talking going on inside, a lot of expertise, a lot of novice, a lot of rookies. Uh, I can only speak for myself, recapping the draft. Um, I'm pleasantly surprised, although I was nervous coming in because I was unprepared. And I got a chance to draft some of the guys I want to watch, my Lions. How did you do? I was okay with it. You know, sometimes being unprepared is okay. You know, you don't get that paralysis by analysis. So, um, you know, that can be a bad thing. But uh, I was okay with my draft. I'm, I get caught between wanting to draft too many Patriots um, because it makes it more fun to watch the game. But then, you know, if they have a bad game, it makes for a bad week of fantasy too. So I kind of tried to split it up a little bit. But I got I got a few of my Patriots, but I'm pretty happy with my team. Interesting to see how each league chose their draft choices and basically strategy. I got nervous when certain guys lasted too long. I I self-doubt thinking everybody else must know something, which they didn't. So anybody can draft here. Look forward to the future of building this thing bigger. Adam Wainwright has started a great, great uh, charity and everybody plays fantasy football. So the draft, the nervous part is over. Now it's up for the players. Now it's up for the team, the general managers. Yeah. to put the right starting lineups in. Yeah, and if you weren't here, be here next year. It's really not that hard. You it's don't not. have to be an expert. It's not. You'll get laughed at, but it's not that yeah. hard.